President of Latvian Association of Architects. Uh, please welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, welcome to all participants at the conference. As a host, I have uh, the honor to opening the International Conference on Architecture of Migration. The event is organized by Latvian Association of Architects in cooperation with the uh, Lithuanian and Estonian Architect Association. All three together, BAWA. The theme of this conference is Architecture of Migration. Surely, abstracting away the process of people, movements, cause, concern, and exiting. Yet migration, like any uh, dialectical process, involves change and holds potential for new quality development. Migration is an interregional process. Therefore, solution to the issue can be found in cross-border cooperation. I will open up, it will open up new opportunities, provide new solution for planning, including urban planning, create new architectural expression. Let me wish you, all the participants of the conference, productive work, drawing new insights, contacts, and inspirations, and to enjoy these days in Riga. The conference is open. And now, uh, short information. Uh, uh, yesterday, in Riga, was uh, UIA uh, regional meeting, UIA's Union International des Architects. Uh, they participate uh, 20 and 1 countries, and this meeting was very successful. We find new objects for the future of a world architect organization. And uh, now I please show you address from the president of UIA, Thomas Vanier. Well, greetings to all of you from Washington, D.C. I want to express my appreciation to the Baltic Architectural Unions Association and to the Latvian Association of Architects and to Juris Poga and his colleagues for organizing these important meetings in Riga. Human migration and forced displacement are important issues in the world almost everywhere, and I hope your conference will be able to address this topic from many different angles with new ideas and new approaches. For the Region 1 and Region 2 meetings, please think about what you are doing and what you can do to advance our discipline and our profession in its obligation to improve the environment and to help all people lead better lives. I understand the desire to make the UIA more effective and more visible. In fact, for five years since Issa Muhammad was president, that has been the driving force behind almost everything we do. And we've been very successful making enormous strides. We just had a wonderful conference on design competitions in Paris. We held an excellent forum on mass tourism and heritage in Baku. Our commissions and our work programs are doing better work than ever before. And our union is very strong. So as we consider big ideas and big reforms, as we consider the prospect of redrawing regional boundaries, let's ask ourselves, what is it that is preventing us from being effective? What is it that is preventing us from accomplishing the things we need to accomplish? Climate change, mass migrations, urgent needs of people living in poverty, the conditions of so many in large cities, these are the concerns that our profession should be addressing. So as you consider the future of the UIA, I ask you to consider 
the structure we have and whether that is something that really needs to be reformed. What is it that prevents us from being effective? We've seen nothing that stops a member section from being effective if it wishes to do so. Please remember the preamble to our articles and our statutes, which lay out the purpose of the UIA. It is to gather architects together without discrimination regarding race, ethnicity, doctrine, or national origin to improve the human condition. These are the matters we should be discussing and moving forward. I send you my greetings. I wish I could be with you. I look forward to seeing all of you very soon and certainly next July in Rio for what is going to be one of the best World Congresses of Architects ever. Thank you and my best regards. Thank you to President. The next address will be from uh, Mr. Janis Dripe, advisor to the Ministry of Culture of the Republic of Latvia. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of Arctic Association from 32 countries, high-level officials from the International Union of Architects, Madam Rector, friends, colleagues, um, welcome to the middle of the nowhere. And in the very promising area at the same time, this particular hall, being the part of the cultural heritage or industrial heritage, also belongs to the private university of applied sciences. And being an expert at the Ministry of Culture, I'm also the head of School of Architecture in the university I just mentioned. I'm so happy to see today morning so many students from our School of Architecture, from Technical University, because they are spending their days just next door. They are the real audience to learn from us, to listen to all the reports during these two days. And, um, of course, welcome to the most predictable, most promising, hardworking and skillful area in Europe. Uh, welcome to the Baltic Nordic region of Europe. And one particular challenge is ahead of all of us. I mean, uh, the Rail Baltic Transport Corridor, what we are expecting to be enforced in 2026. And then Katrin Kovo, Indra Kalman or Mart Kalm will spend just one hour and 58 minutes to come from Tallinn to Riga. And I will need just four and a half hours to meet uh, Mario Shishlo in, in Warsaw. So since um, we are trying to connect the different parts in Europe, we are bridging Malm and Copenhagen, a tunnel can take us to the United Kingdom. So this is a story about mobility and possibilities. And since uh, January 2018, when all the ministers of culture met in Davos, we have a new challenge for architects and broader society in Europe, the Davos Declaration on Baukultur. It's not easy to understand how to measure the quality of architecture and built environment, but definitely it is a challenge for all of us. So probably it's why just last month, architects, together with the Ministry of Culture, we drafted the final version of the new law in Latvia, law on architecture. If this document will be accepted by the Parliament of Latvia, we will definitely achieve new level of self-governance, new level of recognition of our profession. So this two-day's conference is about break the borders, to migrate out from the prof professional limitations. So, ladies and gentlemen, I highly appreciate the good job done by the program curators, Dagnia and Dina, and others who make this conference possible. So, thank you, really. Good, good job is done. And I wish you a frightful uh, meeting during these days. I think it will be not just beneficial for our pro profession, but it will be beneficial for broader society as well. Best wishes, colleagues.
the honorary guests, their locals, their foreigners, their speakers, their audience, their colleagues, their academics and students, their supporters, their team, their volunteers, all who are present here in front. I must say I'm truly happy to see you all here. It has been quite interesting preparation process. I'm glad it has concluded with an event so important in many scales. Worldwide community uh, of International Association of Architects and Baltics uh, and State of Latvia. I'm very pleased to stand here together with my close colleague, Dagny. Hello. We are both architects, like many of you, but we like to think beyond the borders of architecture. We are both committed to shaping a common dialogue to identify future trends within the Baltic space in order to reimagine design briefs, revise policies, and plan socio-economic, territorial, and spatial transformations. We both believe that performing in the field of architecture is part of building a surrounding culture. And we were invited to take part in compiling the contents of this program the conference as also a discussion platform. You may wonder, why architecture of migration? How relevant is this topic to today's world? And is it relevant to the Baltic space and Latvia at all? Wasn't it so that we have survived the refugee crisis a couple of years ago in most of Europe and maybe, <clears throat> and maybe relieved? I must say that migration is still defined as one of the key concerns among Europeans. And in Latvia, mentioning word migration may bring negative connotations, likely due to our Soviet background. In its multifaceted nature, migration takes place on global, regional, and national level at the same time. Migration is related to global processes, such as warfare, climate change, urbanization, labor market, poverty, global tourism. Not everybody, but many people are triggered by the option for free travel ability to choose the country to study and to live. But in our findings while working with the conference topic, we also want to stress out that migration is a very natural process and it's taking place in various scales and various natures already from ancient times. The genesis of our civilization actually depends on migration. The migration is overarching appearance. All countries, region and the global world as a whole are facing the challenge on its ambiguous issues be it warfare or search for a better job. Within each nation state, the causes affect social and spatial consequences may be very different. World today is characterized by movement, speed, networks, connections. And that is how we clearly can imagine it, a globe of constant circulation. Architecture in our understanding of the topic is considered a system a medium and prerequisite for movement, not merely an inhabitable building, but rather physical infrastructure of space and intangible connections. And we would like to distinguish, it can be both soft and hard infrastructure, with soft meaning services, social infrastructure, human capital communication, body of rules, and with hard meaning physical infrastructure, such as road, bridges, public transportation, with the conference, we aim to pursue the discussion and broaden the notion of various phases of migration, being focused on the local, but having wider international experience, expertise, and exchange of uh, ideas and shared challenges. We would like to point out that during the conference, we aim to expand the understanding of migration beyond an influx of immigrants crossing the borders of the EU. So, Dagny, please. Um, thank you, Dina. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for telling the interpretation, uh, our interpretation of the term migration. Um, and in order to introduce these new understandings and broaden up the topic, we have invited professionals of various fields, such as political science, sociology, anthropology, history, architecture, urban design, and uh, curatorial practices to join the conference. Um, a bit briefly about the structure of the conference. Um, we have four panels, and they can be as well perceived um, looking at the space in four different scales. You can now picture spatially um, a kind of exploded axonometry for architects, um, where 
On top, we have the globe. Um, one below uh, comes the Baltic Sea region. Then zooming into the region, looking at the urban-rural rural relationships between the, let's say, larger cities and their um, backdrops. Um, and finally, looking close at some specific new practices in architectural scale. And um, all of these layers um, are penetrated and kind of bound together with one spine, which we kind of, or one focus point, is, uh, which we call Baltics, or we kind of focus on, on, on the region to talk about all these scales together. Um, and finally, I was actually um, yesterday asked by a couple of people, uh, what is my goal of the conference? And um, I think during the day, uh, I had a kind of changing answer, uh, depending who is asking. And uh, finally, uh, uh, yesterday night, uh, a very close person to me asked, and I think so, my answer was uh, quite frank, uh, that um, I'm actually doing this to building architecture culture. And we will not solve the problems um, of the world we have here, but we will open a discussion uh, build a platform for common understanding, uh, and not only, only for po problems, actually, <laughs> I'm mo most interested in discussing opportunities. Um, and for me, it would be a great pleasure um, uh, to have endless conversations over the course of the next two days. I thank all the thinkers, practitioners, friends, allies, inspirers, and scholars that have found time to join, to discover, learn, and question our future here in the region and beyond. I hope you will enjoy the time here, and I would really like to invite and encourage everyone here in the call, hall to really join the discussion, either when we have a panel discussion or informally in, in the space. This, this, we, we have this space, we have these two days to just talk about everything we see on the stage and we, we have here. Um, yeah, thank you. Yes, continuing, I would like to send special greetings to the delegates of the International Association of Architects who held their meeting just yesterday. And we do hope their debates were in many ways fruitful in order to reach more effective and strong collaboration between UEA's member states within the regions. I also send my greetings to Baltic Architects Union Association Awards team, and we look forward to best Baltic graduates presentation on Saturday at the National Library of Latvia. You are all welcome, of course. And I would like, also like to mention Baltic Architects Union Association ex and express my gratitude to Latvian Association of Architects who invited to compile us this program. And of course, our thanks uh, go to our supporters, State Cultural Capital Foundation, Nordic Council of Ministers Office in Latvia, LNK Group, UPB, Embassies of Netherlands and Switzerland, European Commission representation in Latvia, Riga City Architects Office or Partners, Colliers, Cargrew, Air Baltic, Excelsior, and others. And of course, thanks to our team. Uh, we are we standing here are not the the whole uh, crowd of people who organize this. Thanks to our team and to volunteers who uh, are helping uh, out us today. So, to conclude this introduction, I would like to invite to the stage Daniel Ure from Lab Lab in Sweden, who was a partner to us in discussing and creating the contents of this conference. Dear Daniel, would you like to come on stage for a brief second. address? <laughs> first, first second. Dina and Dania, thank you so much for putting this together and inviting me to these dreams and ambitions that you have. I was very, very happy to get that kind of you know, trust from you. And uh, I also would like to say thank you so much to all of you here to share these questions, to share these topics. And I also like very much, Janis, you're somewhere around here. I like very much the way how you describe that encouraging us to migrate from our professions and rediscover ourselves through the knowledge of other people. Nevertheless, I'm looking so much forward for these two days, and we've been using the word conference, 
and you've been using the word conversations. I rather prefer the conversations. And I would like to add another thing to the conversations that would be mapping conversations. This is very much my ambition of engaging in these mapping conversations here on the floor and in between these two kinds of poetry. So thank you so much for being here and sharing this interest with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, that's all from outside and uh, have a good time and enjoy the conference. <laughs>